Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial. Today we're going to be painting Red Skull from Marvel United. Just want to start off by thanking everyone for viewing my last few videos and for subscribing and hitting that notification bell. It really means a lot. We're on our way to be the top mini painting channel on YouTube. No doubt about it. Uh, with this rate, uh, this rate, we're never going to stop. Can't stop, won't stop. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, for his head, you're going to start by putting uh, the fist and red on him and putting that all over his head. And you're good to go. After that, I took some bat and black and I put that in between his neck and his jacket on like his shirt part here and everything just just to differentiate, you know, he's wearing an undershirt, all right? Next thing we did, I took some a bat, a bat and black and mixed it with some Death World Forest. I put that all over, uh, all over his jacket and just so you know, it's not a 50-50 mix of a bat and black and Death World Forest. I just took a little dab of a bat and black, put it inside of the Death World Forest just to darken it a bit. And I just did that in a couple coats and you're good to go. After that, I took some bat and black again. And this is just pure bat and black and I just put that all over his gloves. Uh, his gloves, his boots, and I think that's it. Um, yeah, just his gloves and boots and you're good to go. After that, I took some Corvus black. I put it over his um, belt here and then I, uh, that went, his like, little sash thing or whatever, the belt that goes around his shoulder. Um, I think that's it too. You got it on the front of him and on his back there. So make sure you hit both those spots. Corvus Black is a great color. Uh, I recommend it. It's better than like a pure bat and black, I think. But sometimes, you know, a bat and black is necessary for darker things because Corvus Black does have like a little, a little smoky charcoal uh, color tone to it. Next thing, I took some Battlefield Brown by Pri Privateer Press and mixed that with the bat and black. Again, it's not a, few, a full one to one ratio, but just to want to darken up that. Uh, uh, battlefield brown and put that on his leg here. It's the only spot you're gonna hit. Next we took some Corvus Corax white sword <clears throat> and put that on his teeth. Uh, this is gonna be a bit messy so you, do, you wanna do it first before you do his his full face. Um, you actually should probably do the eyes there too. Don't forget like I did. Oh actually never mind I'm doing it right now. Look at that troll, troll blood highlight from uh, I think this is Privateer Press as well. This is a P3. And it's another good, fairly good paint. And I just put that in his eyes, eyeballs for his right there. Try not to hit uh, anything but the eyeballs. Uh, leave the rest of it red on the inside. Uh, next, I put gunmetal on the belt buckle and the metal clasp on the. Um, on his chest there and then on all of the buttons on his jacket and I think it's just his jacket you could um, no d don't do the base yet just, just save the base for later so you can just be a bit messy with the dry brushing after that I went over the whole jacket with some military shader from the army painter I just uh, I didn't go over the whole jacket, I just pin washed it into all the crevices of the jacket. Uh, this way we didn't have to brighten up the whole jacket again later and it's more of a targeted uh, wash. Right here we just took some pure battlefield brown and we're going to put this on his knee and his leg. Uh, try to keep this in the upper areas and just try to use it as a highlight and it's going to be if you ever make a mistake, just go back over with some that Battlefield Brown and Bat and Black mixture and put it into the cracks. I really screwed up with filming this, but you're gonna you get the gist of it, all right? Next, take some Druchi Violet and put it in the crevices on his head. You don't have to go over the whole thing; just put in the crevices in his head, and then take some Mephiston Red and pure Mephiston Red and do some highlighting with it on his on his head itself all right mm -hmm. 
after that, I'm gonna finish painting the leg. I really jumped around on this model here. I don't know why. Usually I tend to focus on one part of the clothing and the model at a time. But yeah, Xandri dust, Battlefield Brown, do some highlighting. Uh, you can build it up to a pure Xandri dust in some spots, but I just think I really did. Just kept continued the mixture by adding a little bit more Xandri dust to the Battlefield Brown. Next thing, I'm gonna take some Mephiston Red and Evil Sun Scarlet and mix that all uh, together and do some more highlighting on the head itself. Just put it all over on the upper areas, anywhere you think they're, um, that you wanna stand out and pretty much on the edges, on the top of his head, uh, on, on the eyebrows itself, the nose, even though he's locking the nose pretty much. Next, you're gonna do Evil Sun Scarlet and Squig Orange. Uh, you want to keep this to the most upper areas, and the, especially the spots where you want it to be brightest. So, the the jawline, the cheekbones, around the edges, anywhere you want to stand out to, to be uh, mo the most prominent parts of the face. You know, really, really liven it up. Next, uh, I took a bat in black and I put it into the center of his eye. Uh, I also, right after that, took white scar and put a little dot on the eye as well to make it stand out. Next thing here, just take pure Death World Forest. No, and you don't need to mix it with a bat in black anymore. And just put that pretty much all over the flat surfaces, anywhere that's standing out, and just just really bring out the, the clothes more because you're gonna see like in the dark recessed areas where you put that military shader and that mix of a bat and black and death world forest it's gonna really make this uh, death world forest pop because it's gonna be the, a, a much brighter color than than what's in the recesses and it's gonna make the jacket look nice so just put that all over their upper areas again if you make a mistake and get it into the darker areas it's all right just go back and fix it nothing needs to be permanent on these models Next thing here, I took uh, some Death World Forest and some Nerdling Green. And you're going to mix those two together. You can go up to almost a pure Nerdling Green and put that uh, on the edges. They do like an edge highlighting. You, can, you don't have to do it pure edge until you get to Nerdling Green. But you can just mix those together, put it uh, all the, just to lighten up the raised areas on the jacket. Next thing, you're gonna do some Administratum Gray and a Bat in Black, and you're gonna do some highlighting on the fingers and on the boots, and so they get the hand, all right? Not even just the fingers, on the hand itself, just to make it brighten up a bit, and you, want, you just want some highlighting on there, all right? You don't have to go too crazy, just a little bit's good. You don't have to go to pure Administratum Gray. <clears throat> After that, you're gonna do some Corvus Black and Administratum Gray. Just mix a couple, a little bit of those two together and do some uh, highlighting around it. Just make the belt, belts stand out a lot more. Uh, this way they pop. You can go almost to pure Administratum Gray if you want in some spots, but you only need to go a little bit. You don't need to go too crazy. It just depends on the kind of highlight you wanna do. Next thing, I took Cold Gray by uh, this is Vallejo uh, game color and you're just gonna put that all over the model as base plate get that everywhere nice and nice and smooth this is why we didn't do any metallics on the base yet we want to make sure we got that all over first after that I took a dark tone by the army painter which could be Nuln Oil as well by uh, Citadel or any kind of black wash or black paint that's watered down you're just gonna freeze put it all over or if you want just put it in the recesses but it's for me it was easy enough to just spread it all over the base here next thing you're gonna take your dry brush if you would like uh, put some cold gray back on it and just dry brush the whole base itself again this way you can only hit the recessed area uh, you don't hit the recessed areas and you keep the shading we just did with uh, the dark tone by the army painter after that, I took some Administratum Gray, and I left some of that cold gray on my brush, and I just uh, did a more focused 
tie light. I didn't go all into the center pieces, but I did the edges as well as I could. Um, any thought, any spot I thought should be a bit brighter than the rest, I uh, just hit those with that. And finally, we're gonna take some uh, Ulthran gray, and I just did this on the edges here of the rocks or the the tiles he's standing on, and tried to hit those little spots there in the on the each tile just to make things stick. Uh, this just to pop a little bit more. Just don't go all over. Next, I took some gunmetal and painted that uh, little pillar here in the center. And then after that dried, I took some typhus corrosion and put that on top all over it. Uh, you, want, you want some of the gunmetal to peer through though. After that, I took some Ephiston red and put that on the wire here and just put that a couple coats there and then you're good to go very simple next I took flash gets yellow and I put that on the next wire and same thing couple coats good to go gunmetal again this time I took like on these little wires or rebars or whatever that's going through these these um, on the cement here and I just put those there and that's it you're good after the typhus corrosion is dried, just take some Rise of Rest or any kind of orange or brownish orange you want afterwards and do a dry brush on it just to make it look like it's rusted and old. And that's it. You're done. You have the red skull from the Marvel United Core box finished. This is what he looks like. Thanks for watching the video. I really appreciate it. And if you want, please again hit that no subscribe button and notification bell to be notified when new videos come in the future. And that's it for today. Frankie T out.